Hey guys and welcome to Fezair Software. Today I'm doing a user requested video on how to remove an EPS stock. So I just want to make a note on safety, whether I'm uh, disassembling, unboxing, chronoing, whatever it is I'm doing, I may always make sure I'm in a completely safe environment. So that means most of my videos, um, I'm always wearing eye protection uh, just to make sure that my eyesight stays safe, stays safe. Before I do that, I always make sure that there's no ammunition in uh, any of the mags or in the gun itself. Make sure that the mags are unloaded and unwound to make sure that nothing can happen with that. Obviously, if I'm chrono in, then I've absolutely definitely got my eye protection on to protect myself. I even make sure that my batteries are removed and out of the way so that I know I'm in the safe environment. I also make sure that there's nobody else around as well either, so I'm always in a safest possible environment. If you are working with airsoft stuff, please make sure you do the same. Hi guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this or find it useful, please do like and subscribe because you will be very much helping me out. So I've had a few requests from people saying, could I just do a quick video on how to remove, um, this is the PTS EPS stock. Um, this generally applies to any real stock, I suppose, uh, and it, it's quite a simple process. So. First thing you do, obviously make sure that your battery's out and everything, drop your battery cover off, and then you're gonna push the lever in to extend it fully. Now on some brands um, of M4 style stock, AR style stock, you're gonna pull on this lever here and you're gonna pull it down and it'll come down and it pulls this lever out of this track underneath. On this particular one, or on the PTS ones, you're gonna open it as though you're gonna try and extend the stock, get your fingers in and pull it down and it can be a little bit stiff, I've just pulled it down whilst pulling the stock back. Battery uh, connector's caught, and that's it, and it's come off. So all I did was use the lever to pull it to the end, and then I've got my fingers in there and pulled it down. You might need a screwdriver because it is quite a strong spring to get that open. Excuse me. Obviously, just be careful that your battery connectors don't catch. And then to put it back in again, the exact same process. I'm gonna push it slightly on, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna pull that spring down whilst pushing it back in. And as soon as I know it's back in position, it's now back to its normal operating. And there's my battery connector. I can put the battery cover back on and it's as quick and simple as that. And you've removed your stock. So I hope that's been useful. Please do make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.